You have 30 minutes to hide a USB drive in your house. Your house will then be raided by police, detectives and some FBI agents all searching for the USB where do you hide it, so that it won't be found. In the handle on my oven door, the screw loosened, and one side fell down. When I went to fix it, I noticed it was hollow. You could probably fit 15 in there. Was thinking between the glass of the oven door. I recently discovered I can access that space between the glass. If I could do that, I would print and insert a picture of a clean oven interior. It would take more time to find, print, and install that picture than it would to just clean it though. Yeah, but you'd just have to keep re-cleaning the oven, and the picture would stay nice looking. Op is a cop on the scene serving a warrant trying to find a USB stick they are certain is on site. Not so loud. My yard. Nobody goes in there and comes back alive. Ow your yard is peppered with landmines too. R I see you are a man of culture as well. And I see you are a man from Bosnia as well. You will not keep me out of there forever. Traitor. Well that gives me enough time to pop the circuit board out of the casing and just randomly solder it to a nondescript part of another piece of electronics in my house. I can then burn the casing. My CDT teacher would be so proud. Unless they're really, really good at their job they're not finding it. I think this one might be the best answer as no other answer addresses dogs trained to sniff out things like SD and USB drives. I'm not kidding. They bring them in on child porn cases, where the evidence is often on a drive, hidden away from the computer. Having the USB circuit board look like a piece of electronics on a random device, computers gonna get confiscated, might work as if the device triggers the dog, but the trainer might not recognize it. The key there is to litter the place with cheap storage media. Just have the dogs hitting on everything. Aha. The Raiders of the Lost Ark approach. Have as many false positives as you can get together. Then hide the dam almost anywhere. They'll be so sick of the sight of USB drives they ain't gonna go looking for extras. Take out floating rubber ball thingy from toilet tank. Cut a slit in the bottom of the floating rubber ball thingy and shove it inside of that. Super glue the slit shut and replace it. Fuck man. That's some high level thinking. Toilet tank is the first place they are gonna look. If that many of them are showing up, it's imminent danger stuff. They are definition going to have an electronic sniffing dog. Electronic sniffing dogs lol what? Police dogs can be trained to sniff out electronics like cell phones, thumb drives, computers, and memory cards. Heat up the bottom of one of my jar candles until I can slip the wax out. I've done it before. Hollow out a space in it, put it in, and put the whole thing back in the jar. This is actually brilliant. My wife once left a typical glass candle on the stove when we were cooking, and it made the entire candle clear. Cold easily dropped a wrapped USB in there and let it settle again. No one would find it. Would it take longer than 30 minutes to settle? You could set it in the fridge. By boo then the cops either see a candle in the fridge, or see a candle that's frosty from being in the fridge. I'm homeless. There's no house for them to raid. Checkmate. You can hide it everywhere in the streets. Up a pigeon's ass. I don't want to king shame a pigeon today, but I will, if I have to. In the broken porcelain on my sink then patch it with instant noodles. I'm gonna wrap it in some plastic then down the pipe it goes. I was thinking a pill bottle. They're likely looking in there. Glued to the underside of my wheelie bin handle. There's a space right under it which should be enough for a USB drive. If they flip it over to rummage through the trash, then they'll be holding it with their hand. Either that or under the insulation inside my attic. I like the idea of them having it in their hand and not knowing it. You could take off a dork knob and put the drive inside the cute out. That's actually a decent idea. Also, instead of a USB drive I'd use a micro flash drive. Like the ones in phones. Just as easy to read out as an USB drive and way, way easier to hide. You wouldn't have to try to hide a micro SD. Just set it down for a few seconds and it'll hide itself. Nice try. Come back with a warrant. 
plays Cherry Pie by Warrant while searching house. I know the drummer that was in the video for that song. I once ate spaghetti OS straight from the can while watching that video. I'm aware that that video exists. I'll tape it to the back of an LSE of a fan and turn the fan on. And on the USB was stored the last copy of You Spin Me Round by Dead or Alive. I put it in a sock and then put the sock in the dryer. I turn the dryer on and when it's done bam nobody will ever find the sock there for the hard drive ever again. My conspiracy theory is that the FBI has been stealing socks out of dryers for decades on the chance that people were hiding stuff in them. Can confirm. Have hid a lot of stuff in my socks. You forgot to add, asking for a friend. Yeah and opt tell your friend to play this link. B slash kick fag on loop when they enter. Also have a harmonica at hand. In my copy of Matt's Effect and Ramida, the worst Matt's Effect, am I allowed to say that I liked and enjoyed that game? It could still be both the worst Matt's Effect and a good game. Inside a cat shit in the litter box. Inside a cat shit in the litter box. Smart. No one would ever open a cat's DVD box. Cats vs dogs DVD box set. My brother died last year, and substance abuse played a large part in his passing. He had a very successful business that he sold, so he was quite wealthy. At one point, he decided it was a great time to explore leveraging his position to buy Bitcoin. He borrowed a half a million dollars in December of 18 and bought Bitcoin. But he became paranoid when he started using Xenix heavily. He hid dollar sign 25k in his house when he was wasted and couldn't remember where. He told his housekeeper he'd give her dollar sign 5k if she found it. She did. At the bottom of a box of Ziploc baggies. His final act of paranoia was to place all of his Bitcoin on an encrypted cold storage USB drive that he hid in the house. Several encrypted drives were found in the house. But nobody knows the password. He had a synchronized encrypted Apple Notes password file on his Apple devices. But nobody knows the password to that. So there is a million plus sitting on a USB drive. But no way to get at it. Sorry to hear about your brother. But have you tried 1234 or password 1? Thanks. He lived a crazy full throttle life. My other brother has the drives. And I haven't played with them at all. He was full on paranoid. So I suspect the password is something elaborate. That sounds like something he'd want you to think. No. He's probably right. Anyone that paranoid and knowledgeable of Bitcoin likely has a long password. Give it to my 4 years old and say don't lose this. But poof that thing is gone for at least a year. Pull the latch plate off my door frame. Chisel a slightly deeper hole. Pop then USB in there and replace the plate. Who would ever think to look there? What if the FBI opens your door using the shotgun method? Then no flash drive for them and you go away scot-free cause it was the cops who destroyed the evidence. Go outside buy 10,000 dusps throw them in a pile and hide the normal one inside a book in my library. Don't put them in a pile. Scatter them all over your house. One USB per comment in this thread. The remaining you could put anywhere. I mean the cattle one is going to take long enough that I'm only going to get another one or two. Break a light bulb in a way that you can place a USB inside it and glue the base back on. The bulb won't work, but you can still screw it back into the socket. Then screw the bulb in the closet or basement. Seal it in a waterproof bag and sink it to the bottom of the shower drain water trap. 100% certain they're checking every drain trap. Rules errant super clear, it dismantled the drive and hide its parts in a few random locations. It'll say everything is allowed, as long as the data can still be retrieved, if enough of the drive is found. Are you worried about the wrong people getting access to your data? In that case, you'd encrypt the USB drive with a 16 byte ease key, and now you only need to hide those 16 bytes. That's much easier, and yes, it could be distributed. Or are you worried about being able to gain access to all your data? Even if somebody took away your physical copy, that's a backup problem then. Some form of incremental distributed backup to the cloud is usually the answer. But depending on the resources available to your opponent, this could get complicated. It'll protect you from a random crook. 
it might not protect you from a government sponsored hacker who specifically targets you. Now I'm curious. What's so special about this USB that this question got reposted? The hiding spot was so good. The post was lost the first time around. If I don't need easy access to it when they leave, I'll remove a wall outlet and push it through a hole on the back of the electric box into the wall cavity. Impossible to find without ripping out all the drywall, since there will be no evidence that it was put in there once I put the outlet back in. Do just this, and the sniffer dog would have it in 10 minutes. Go one further, the police triumphantly find the chip, but continue searching from due diligence. The dog finds other chips. And again alerts officers to the original hide. Nothing inside. Extreme diligence runs the void finder and metal detector just in case. No holes. No metal save the screws holding perfectly normal drywall. Even careful measuring of the hide returns normal widths on everything. Diligence complete. Officers take the Kai back to the lab and find it heavily encrypted. Their office nerds are confident in can be cracked in a few months. May year. They get to work. Office nerds then have an amazing rate of suicide over the next few years, because the encryption is based on Depeche Mode music and they get to depressed to go on. The one Depeche Mode fan in the group succeeds, but finds a second layer of encryption, based on smooth jazz. PD has to hire a new group of lab nerds, thus never finding out the chip is merely a decoy. The actual chip is still in the carefully searched wall, behind the outlet box. Covered by a normal looking two half layers of drywall with QTOS screw heads over the chip. If somehow the officers do find it. There is a single unencrypted file with a nude photo of myself. Thus anyone foolish enough to even look at it is permanently struck blind. Dogs won't sniff out USB drives. They actually do. There are dogs that are trained to sniff out electronics. They bring them in for CP cases. There's only three in the user, but they are used. Crazy. I know. Take the batteries out of your mum's dildo and put it where the batteries were. What if the cop wants to use it? Under the dead body in the freezer. Going by a lot of the responses I've seen yeah I'd be better off putting it inside the dead body's anus. R slash brand the sentence. Nice try. Police. Detectives and some FBI agents. Thanks dude. I mean what? Username checks out. Can confirm the above. They are everywhere. I don't think that you can hide it anywhere that it won't be found. If it's important enough, no two bits of wood in your house will be touching each other by the time they are done. THIS carrot what kind of time frame is the FBI working with if they only have a day? I'm reasonably confident they won't find it, but give them a week or more then it doesn't matter how clever or hard to get to the spot is. Dot warrants expire after a certain period? Then if it takes a couple of warrants that would be good evidence that anything was planted. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.